Hi guys, Chris and PJ here, live in the top secret area of the Dream Giveaway Garage. Hello, Tuesday today, Chris. Is it Taco Tuesday? Uh, Taco Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, two for Tuesday. Two for Tuesday, that'll work, because behind us, two amazing big block Chevys that you can enter win in our first ever Super Chevy a Dream Giveaway. They look good here in this photo studio, Chris. Yeah, and listen, the cars aren't top secret. You've seen them for months. But this is where, if you look behind PJ, you'd see top secret stuff, maybe on another day. <laughs> That's right. All right. Because they're always looking to try there, to get there you sneak go. peeks in here. Kind of a fun day here. Shall we tell everybody? Yeah, kind absolutely. Kind of the guest who we have? Yeah, we have a guest in-house right now. Yep. And they're uh, locally and uh, checking out everything in the garage. And uh, their favorite, they're Mopar or no car fellows, aren't they? That's uh, absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of which, next Friday, not this Friday, next Friday, we're going to hold an awards ceremony. And that's going to be for that classic truck, the Ford Resto Mod, the F-250 Long Bed with the Bedwood. And uh, for the Demon, the 2018 Demon. And congrats again to Mel P of the great state of Florida, the winner for that. And speaking of winners, how would you guys like to win this twofer? Chris, this is right. almost incomprehensible comprehensible that Court. you would win both of these vehicles. It really is. And you know what, when uh, the idea was bounced around to do both, I said, you know what? Either of these will make a great prize package by itself. And then we said, but yeah, but what if you put two of them together? What if you put a big block Camaro 69, a solid lifter one, with big block Chevelle SS454 from the next year, from 1970, arguably, the most iconic years for both the Camaro and the Chevelle, 1969 and 1970, respectively. Uh, Anthony uh, says, how are we doing today here in the Dream Giveaway Garage? Doing very good. We're doing great. So uh, listen, Chris, if you were to win this package, and both of these are sitting in your driveway, and you said, I'm going to go for a quick ride, which keys are you going to pick up and well, go for first? Yeah. You know, and that's a tough question, PJ. And the reason is, is that they're just such incredible statements of, of muscle car history. You know, if I had to pick one to drive every day, that would be a different question. I, I take the Chevelle. I like that bench seat and the, the silver with the red and the factory air conditioning. But I'll tell you, if you're going out for a little romp, romp, romp around that town, then uh, hardly anything is going to keep up with this 1969 L78 Camaro. What a great car. Houndstooth interior. Yeah, houndstooth interior, horseshoe shifter, step gauges, walnut steering wheel. Gorgeous. And according to the title, it has 14,000 original models. Amazing. How can you have a car like this and only get 14,000 on it? You know what I think? One quarter mile at a time, DJ. That's how I think. RM says, I'm taking the Chevelle. Woo! You know, and it's just like you. Yeah, I would take the Camaro all day. <laughs> That's okay, too. But I think it has a different sportier, sportier look. But remember, you can do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, right. Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. By the time you get through two weeks, each of them would have got seven days each, That's right. right? Even though for, for me, the Chevelle would be more of a Sunday drive, right? Uh, there you go. Well, that's good too. Other twofers that we have in the garage include the Hearst Olds package, right? That Hearst Olds convertible tribute with the Hearst Olds GMC truck, the Plum Crazy twofers, that's that 70 Challenger 446 pack pistol grip with that Hellcat Super Stock, one of 27. We've got that two for Shelby's, the truck, 800 horsepower Super Snake, and the 750 horsepower Mustang. The two Corvettes. The two Corvettes, both in rapid blue, and we're going to show you that 63 at our Donuts and Drives on June 29th. Hope you guys, if you're in the area, will be bringing your pride and joy vehicle on over to enjoy the morning with us. Michelle says, Shalom. We appreciate that. Uh, Bill says, can Canadians enter? Yes. Absolutely. Except for the province of Quebec. That's right. Yep. Not only can you enter, you can also win. 
<laughs> That's correct. We have two Canadian winners, one from BC and one from Ontario. Yeah, already. So there you go. Jack says he's waiting for the drawing. They'll look great in my garage. Right. Absolutely. Or if you have a photo studio this big. I had a question on the good. wheels the other day. I'm going to point those out. Those are Budnick wheels with 18-inch tires. And if you can't tell from the width of that rear tire, Ooh. that's not factory stock. I don't even think except if you were getting drag race tires or NASCAR tires back in 1969 that you could have gotten a street tire that wide. I don't think they were made yet. They were big. That's yeah. a big Yeah. You know, which goes to just show how much tires have changed o over the years. But if you're so inclined and you prefer to put some old Chevy rallies on there, it would look pretty cool with those too. Even the hockey stick yep. striping. Yep. And people have also asked, or I'll ask on, on behalf of the people who haven't asked, where are the hideaways? Not mandatory on the SS. You can get the SS or you could get the RSSS. The RS package included the hideaway headlights and other accoutrements. So this is just an SS, but it's got that big L78 396 cube, a solid lifter, big block. Oh, this is a nice pair. Who's out there, PJ? Uh, Daryl says, hey, fellas. Appreciate that. Hey, uh, hey, hey. Grandpa Joe says, since the Camaro is an automatic, my wife would drive it. There so we go. could take both out at the same time. <laughs> oh, I love it. That would be fun. Yeah, kind of like a his and her muscle car moment, right? That's right. Bruce says, tan L60 15s on my 69 Camaro. Ooh. There you go. That's amazing. I love yeah. it. Yeah. How about the front of this one, Chris? No hideaway hell yeah, headlights in the no, Chevelle. Yeah, no, you know what? The hideaway headlight package was never offered on uh, the Chevelle. However, I believe, and maybe Larry will know the answer on this. I seem to recall, could you get them on the Impala? Could you get them on the full-size Impala or the Caprice? I seem to recall one of those full-size models having a hideaway option. Uh, let me know if I'm right on that so, one. So, Chris, what are the... the um the high beams, are they integrated into the two front? They are. Right yep. in there compared to separate units Correct. here? Correct. Yep, that's exactly how it is. And then you've got the uh, fog lights down there on the bottom. The running lights, as they're sometimes called. And a front splitter on the Camaro. Yeah, that's pretty. Cow and like the cow design. hoods are much different on the two. They still call them a cow hood. And why they call it the cow hood is that air is supposed to bounce off the windshield and come down here into the air cleaner. However, on the Chevelle, the cow hood is actually functional here and it's vacuum operated. So the air will bounce here. When it's open, the air will go right down there uh, to the air cleaner. I don't know why they did not have, at least to my knowledge, a, a factory, a moving cow system on the Camaro. Trans Am, of course, had that moving plate on the back of the Shaker Scoop, which kind of did the same thing as the, the uh, vacuum operated. Because I've seen that go up and down when you hit when you rev the engine. That's right, vacuum like operated, to try to get some more air in. And for you guys who race, you know that the more air you get into that big old air pump you call a V8, the more power you're going to get out of there, right? I guess it's just like running a race uh, with your feet, you know? The more air, the better you can go. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Well, that's the two for a pair for today, and what an amazing pair. I'll tell you, we couldn't repeat this package if we tried, but we'll try. <laughs> Maybe we will someday. But for now, you guys get your entries to win this amazing pair of Cortez Silver Beauties from the iconic original glory days of Chevrolet. Yes, PJ. Larry says 68 Chevy Impala Super Sport with optional hidden headlights. I knew I was right. Thank you so much <laughs> for that, Larry. <laughs> there you go. We'll see you guys tomorrow with more great fun, more great action, and more great grand prizes like two iconic Chevy Big Blocks to one lucky winner. Get your entries today at dreamgiveaway.com. See you next time in our favorite place on earth, the Dream Giveaway Garage. See you next time, everyone.